All right, get us up. All right, I'm following you, dude. Go. You can't get up? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My 11-year-old nephew gets a 69 hit combo in the shooter we're playing. A69, nice. <laughs> hey, uncle, did you know? Like, did you know the 69 is a meme and nobody knows why? Like, nobody knows why that's such a funny number, but it is, right? It's so crazy. Did you know that? Did you know that? Hi, everyone. I was wondering if anyone can help me. My 12-year-old son has lost his drone. He was flying it in the park when he lost the signal and it flew off in the general direction of Ath Garvin. Normally, I wouldn't be too bothered, but it turns out he put his friend's pet hamster in it as a test pilot, and he's quite upset. Ooh, that poor test pilot. This is not going to be a rescue. This is not going to be a rescue. This is going to be a recovery. That hamster absolutely just dropped out the sky like a brick. But it's not all bad. That hamster made history. It's probably the first hamster to ever ride a drone, and that's worth acknowledging. Who knew that hamsters were capable of such achievements? My sister just had a baby. She brought her home today, and my other niece was so pissed, she packed up all of her stuff and tried to leave. Maybe I'm different. Maybe I'm just some sort of goober. But I never tried to leave my parents' house. I never tried to run away. Mostly because my parents gave me a very simple, you know, threat. They just weren't going to look for me. That was the threat. Hey, you can go, but the moment you change your mind, you're screwed because we're not looking for you. We're not going to try and seek you out. You want to live by yourself. You want to be a nomad. You want to be a homeless person. Go ahead and be the best homeless person you can be. And that was enough fear to keep me inside of the house regardless of how slighted or angry I was feeling at the time. Because anything is better than living outside with raccoons and possums. I couldn't find this little girl's parents, so instead of going to the cops or maybe to another adult, I chose to trap her with dinosaurs so she wouldn't run off while I find them. That is incredibly irresponsible. What if those dinosaurs just decided to eat this child? That's ridiculous. Look at all of them. They're all hungry and menacing. That's not how you protect a kid. That's not how you encourage a child to not wander off. You don't threaten them with apex predators. My eight-year-old is going to his grandma's house. I told him to dress nice and hurry up because he's going to church with them. I didn't see how he left the house. My mom just sent me this pic. Oh my God. <laughs> Was this deliberate? Because I have never seen anyone go with the flip-flop slide combo. This is absolutely uncharted territory. And it really begs the question why he even decided to put on slides or flip-flops. Because when did church attire update? All right, when did the wardrobe change? Because it looks like this kid got a memo before the rest of us. All right, we need to catch up. <laughs> no, oh. Earlier, my daughter asked me if grown-ups ever cry. I sat down with her, hugged her, and explained that grown-ups do cry, and that we feel scared, sad, angry, and everything that she feels. And it's fine to feel those things. She then asked me if grown-ups pee. So I was volunteering as a face painter, and instead of getting a butterfly or a flower, this little girl wanted to be Satan. Um, and nobody... Nobody encouraged her to do anything else? Like, you could have said no, but no, this, this kid compelled you to draw Satan on her face. She might just have demonic powers, who knows? She might just be able to mind control people. I like watching airplanes when they pass by, and I like jets. Aw, that's, that's cool, I like airplanes and jets too. They go fast, I like water. Hey, yo, I'm a fan of water too, it's the best drink out there. Ski planes, because they can land in the water. I like swimming and diving, and the American flag, because it represents the day Jesus died. It is quiet. Okay, you kind of you kind of had us in the beginning, not gonna lie. It really begs the question, who told you that last? Fun fact. Uh, <laughs> that's some trivia that I was unaware of. Uh, you know, of all my years of learning about American history. Haven't heard that one. Haven't heard that little snippet of information. That's wild. And what's with the last statement? It is quiet. What, what encouraged this child to say that? Was it genuinely quiet or is she just being creepy for no reason? Hey, Mark, get set. Go! Zoe, go! Okay, children, write about what you would like to do when you get home from school. I first get a snacks and pour me a drink. I go to the bathroom, poop, then I go take a power nap. Not a single lie told. This kid has a pattern and sticks to it. 
And to be honest, it's not a bad pattern. This is a solid combination of activities, a great way to grow neurons and be happy. The only question left to ask is what snacks this kid's eating. That's what really sets up the rest of your day. That's what really sets up the power nap. The reason why I know that is because I would only sleep good after eating these snacks. So delicious, bro. All you need is some yogurt and cookies to have good dreams and good thoughts. That's it. Good grief. It's starting to become uncountable on this subreddit how many times children just, for whatever reason, go out of their way to piece up their laptop. Why do you have to fight your laptop screen? Who is out there telling you guys that laptop screens should be able to take multiple beatings from both of your underdeveloped fists? It's just crazy to me, man. I don't know whose parents are allowing their children to just piece up laptops and then replacing said laptops after they're broken. It's just wild, bro. It's a type of behavior that I can never wrap my brain around because I babied my laptop, man. I nurtured that thing when I was a kid because it was so expensive and I knew I was never going to get another one if it was broken. Hmm, I see. I see. Very nice family drawing. Why do you guys have antenna? <laughs> Why do you guys have antenna and potato bodies? What's going on? What does your child see when he looks at you? What does your child see when he looks at himself? Now I'm certain that he meant to draw like eyebrows or eyelashes, but it still doesn't make any sense because your eyelashes, dude, are completely vertical. So it, it makes... It makes no sense. Now, OP didn't go into too much detail about this post. He just took a picture of a couple of kids hanging around somebody's Bentley. And I can see why this is dumb, because who in their right mind would sit on somebody's car, let alone a luxury exotic vehicle? These kids are sitting on a house. They are sitting on a single family household and they have no idea. They are damaging someone's pride and joy and they are completely ignorant to that. Oh my God. The amount of images on this subreddit of children just climbing over luxury vehicles and, and potentially cracking windshields or denting metal is wild. It's uncountable. It's ridiculous. Where are their parents? Where are their parents? Cause I would be sweating bullets if I found out my kid was over here sitting on top of someone's Bentley. Thanks, here's $400. Wow, thanks, you're loaded. Wow, that is crazy. I didn't even know that you could give greater than 100 bucks on Super Thanks. I know that you can do that with Super Chat, so I guess it makes sense, but $400? That's wild, but hey, it's your money, right? Right? Hey, so I'm gonna have to refund. I'm sorry, this is his mother. He is a five-year-old boy who accidentally purchased things on my account. I'm turning it in to get it back. Oh man, there are no winners in this chat, bro. There are no winners in this thread. Some woman has to figure out a way to get a refund from YouTube, and a content creator just lost out on $400. My son just told me he loves the new toy trucks they got at daycare. They're his toy trucks. We donated them because he refused to play with them. Well, at least now you know that he is a fan of trucks. He's just not a fan of playing with them at your house. Maybe he only finds value in playing with them around other kids. But hey, of all of the parenting styles that we've encountered so far in this video, this was pretty good. My six-year-old begs me to play Minecraft with him and then does this the entire time to see his half of the screen better. There's two solutions to this problem. One, get this kid some glasses. Or two, do crossplay, pull up a laptop, sit on the couch, and make wholesome memories with your child, bro. That's how you do it. Trust me, if I ever have kids he or she will be playing rainbow six with me from their bedroom and we will gain elo together because that's how you make memories and that's how you bond with the kid hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm just starting out so please be kind in the comments uh i really care about sea turtles i really do so i'm going to eat plastic so that the turtles don't have to this video is going to be pretty long it might be a little bit boring but i hope you guys subscribe and leave a like it really helps grow the channel and allows me to eat more plastic in the future bruh i am tired of this working with children is a wild experience y'all this morning at work one of my second graders got my attention and was like you know what word my mom told me not to say pussy and I was like why did you just say it and she went I don't know and then dabbed so yeah that's my life and would you believe me if I told you this all happened at like 9 a.m. waking up to the sound of a kid shrieking that he crapped his pants then walking in the bathroom to find the toilet seat floor bathtub shower wall and toilet paper all covered in diarrhea oh my god dude the first thing that came to my mind was that scene from daddy daycare bro could you just imagine that parent stepping into that room and just looking at every surface being covered in just <laughs> feces bro what would you do what would you do i would give up i would just stop being a parent there i would vanish all right i would finally go get the milk I would finally go buy a carton of cigarettes. I'm not coming back. Obviously, I was overzealous. Obviously, I didn't have enough hubris. I'm not cut out to be a parent. Who's ready for walls, toilet paper, bathtub floor, toilet seat, and shower to be covered 
in crap, bro. Who's ready for any of that? But in all seriousness, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave my kid, but I would definitely set that bathroom on fire. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Aleris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. Go ahead and check out the community tab because there's already a content poll for this week. Go ahead and choose what you want to see in the future. Your opinions matter a ton, so please participate in the poll and, and vote. It's free. Click the button. And as always, gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to D, the Blurred Star, Mr. Sandman, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Loving Tate, Tron Destroy 23, Code Connor Purvis, S16, Squish, Rare Days, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faneker, Bloody Hunter, Keeley, Dundernaz Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty!